you ever travel I-40 during the day, you may wonder, what's up with those big black buses? Where are they going and who's riding on them? Well, these big black buses comprise the part fleet, people and authority for regional transportation. On average, 2,000 people per day ride the part system in the Piedmont Triad and outlying areas. By using public transportation, part riders save money, reduce congestion, and improve our environment. We are here at the Part Hub on Regional Road in Greensboro. Riders can transfer to the Winston-Salem Transit Authority, the Greensboro Transit Authority, High Point Transit, and Higher Education Area Transit. Park has express routes serving Surrey, Stokes, Yadkin, Forsyth, Guilford, Davie, Davidson, and Randolph counties with hopes of future expansion. Major stops include Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center, Moses Cone Hospital, Four Seasons Mall, Haynes Mall, UNCG, and the North Carolina Zoo, just to name a few. This system works like the internal parts of a clock. Each bus is like a gear that moves in rhythm to keep the time accurate. The success of part relies on just that, time. That means each bus must maintain a schedule in order to keep passengers on time and able to connect with other transit systems. Riders have to plan out their trip according to the part schedule. So, where do you get a schedule? Well, there's three ways to go about it. You can pick one up from any transportation center. You can go online at www.partnc.org or you can call 336-883-PART. Now, once you have that schedule in hand, you need to ask yourself three questions. Where are you? Where do you need to go? And what time do you need to get there? Let's say you live close to Asheboro and attend UNCG. You can use the Route 10 Randolph County Express bus. Your class starts at 8 a.m. You would need to arrive at the South Asheboro Park and Ride lot 10 minutes before your departure time of 6.40 a.m. You will arrive at your location at UNCG at 7.30 a.m. Let's mix it up a little more. You live in Greensboro and you're relying solely on public transportation to get you to Winston-Salem by 7 a.m. for a special meeting at work. You'll want to use GTA to arrive at the Greensboro Depot at least 10 minutes before the Part Express bound for the hub leaves from Slip 16. Upon boarding the bus at the depot, please advise the driver that you will need a transfer. Transfers are free from one part bus or shuttle to another, with the exception of the Mountaineer Express and Medical Connections Express. The bus departs at 6 a.m. and will arrive at the Part Hub at 6.30. You'll transfer to the Route 1 Winston-Salem Express at the hub and arrive at the Winston-Salem Transportation Center by 7 a.m. Now that we have the schedule figured out, let's actually step onto the bus and show you how it works. You have a couple of options for paying your fare. You can use cash, which for this particular trip is $2. If you're a student, disabled, or elderly, it's half price. You may be required to show the driver your ID to verify your student status or your age. So, insert your dollars into the fare box. You may have a prepaid pass or transfer from a connecting trip. Insert into the fare box and you're squared away. Hey, that's a fancy pass. I'm tired of lugging all these nickels around. How do I get one of those? Hey, I can help with that. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Chantel, I'm with PART. Let me tell you, our prepaid monthly passes are a great deal. Not only are they economical, so you can save some money in that bank of yours, mm. but you can purchase them at a number of different locations. You can go online to our website at partnc.org, and you can also go in person to our regional hub and various other locations around the Piedmont Triad. You should check it out. Okay, thanks, I will. Hey, do you take nickel? Hey, Chantal, I'm glad you're here. I understand Part wants to be as flexible as possible when it comes to alternative transportation. And with that being said, how do you bring a bike onto the bus? Let me show you. Part offers bicycle racks on all express routes, so if your bike can travel with you. This gives the customer the option of using the bus for part of the trip and the bicycle as well. Really? Give me an example. Well, let's say that a person is traveling from Greensboro to Winston-Salem. Well, riding a bike from Greensboro to Winston-Salem isn't impossible. Well, for me, it probably would be. It isn't exactly practical either. However, riding the bus to Winston-Salem and then riding a bike a few miles from the transportation center downtown is definitely an option. Can you show me how the bike rack works? You know, I'd love to show you how it works, but I just don't have a bike. Oh, there's Brooke! All you need to do is lift the handle and pull down the bike rack. Then you're gonna place the bike inside the rack. 
making sure that it's facing in the proper direction as outlined on the bike rack itself. You're going to lift the safety handle over the front tire and you're all set. Now once you reach your destination, you're going to release the safety handle, take the bicycle out of the rack, and provided that there's no more bikes waiting to be stored, you can replace the bike rack. It's that simple. Wow, I think I'll ride the bike more often if it's that easy. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. There are a few things to keep in mind when boarding the bus. Always allow senior citizens and passengers with disabilities to board the bus first. The front seats are reserved for these passengers. Also, the wheelchair restraint system is built into the front two sections for those in need. To be honest, the park bus is actually the only place in the whole world where the best seat is all the way in the back. Check out these seats back here by the wheel well. You could park a Winnebago back here. Well, not so much, but at least a 75 Pinto. Seriously though, there isn't a bad seat in the house. You can recline in these high back seats and prop your feet up on the built-in footrest. You could even lay back and take a nap. But that might not be a good idea since you could fall asleep and miss your stop. Seriously though, it'd be hard to fall asleep if the person in the seat next to you was playing loud music, which brings us to our list of things not to do while riding the bus. No loud music beyond your earphones. No eating, no drinking. No smoking. And all weapons are prohibited on the bus. There are other general courtesies to consider as well. Part service is running at peak capacity during the mornings and afternoons while people are going and coming from work. So please leave room for everyone to board and sit. Moving to the inside chair when boarding allows other passengers behind you to find a seat quickly. Part express routes have certain stops that they can make along the way before reaching the various transportation centers. If you're departing at an unscheduled stop, either push the red stop button or pull the yellow cord stop requested. to let the operator know of your intentions. Please remember to check the seat for all belongings before departing the bus. If you need additional help, one of our friendly part staff members will ride with you. You can't beat that. Just call our buddy ride coordinator at 336-235-6653 or visit our website at www.partnc.org. Remember, part is the transportation solution for commuters of the Piedmont Triad. I'm now going to sit back and enjoy the